and welcome back. It is week four and we are on lesson four. Today we are going to go a little bit deeper into lighting. This is actually part two. Our first lighting section was about indirect light. Now our exercise is going to be taking an object or a person into different light situations where your subject will be an indirect light like I have here coming in through the window or direct light directly in the sun and then we're going to vary the background. Is your background going to be bright or is it going to be dark? Now I have a full demo of this at the end of the video but I want you to be sure you actually take the steps to do this exercise because you need to understand how lighting is going to affect your photo. Now this is going to change whether you're taking pictures of say a flower in a vase or a person. So I want you to keep in mind that what you're learning today may still need to be adapted depending on the situation and what you're photographing. I will also have some printables on my website that I will link below. With ISO 100, direct sunlight with a shade background. Now direct sunlight with a bright background. Now shade with shade background. ISO 1600, aperture 4.0. Now shade with a bright background. Backlight, and how do you use backlight? Now, if you just put a person in front of a strong light source, so you've got the sun coming through a tree and it's really pretty, and you back your subject up to where the light's just barely coming through and it hits the woman's hair and it gives her this little halo and it's beautiful. But if you take the shot like that, you're going to get a silhouette, which is great and it has its place. Those are very artistic photos, I love them. But if you actually want to get the features of this person, then you need to use a fill flash. You throw a little pop of light in there as your flash. And you will have to change some settings in your camera so that the where your light source is coming from, where you, the sun is shining through, that that doesn't get completely blown out in the picture. So you want to drop your ISO down as low as you can. like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of these lessons as I post them weekly. And again, you can always find me on Instagram at capture.create.explore. Don't forget to use hashtag CCE workshop to tag me in your work. I would love to see your photos. Thanks guys. Have a great day.